thank you. I just want to thank AI and especially Dr. Somshila for arranging this uh, great session. And I'll be discussing more on the current scenario of uh, um, just a minute. So I think COVID uh, came like an unannounced emergency and no one was prepared uh, to take care of it and how future would be uh, when uh, uh, in, during the pandemic and what were the lessons learned. The year 2020 presented with lots of these unexpected troubles and clinicians and the sudden law in medical advice, treatment at home. That reflected in the severity of the disease which, in which the patient presented once the lockdown was lifted as well. These were the presentations of few patients who came to us once it was lifted. So we knew that we were not able to take care of them in their very golden time and salvage. We could have done that much better if they would have presented to us on time. So over time we realized and we all realized as clinicians the importance of remote imaging. If they can send their uh, or can talk in, and uh, uh, this will really help in the future with the second wave which came a little more unannounced it became very difficult so this became the uh, real way of working along with the normal consultant most of the uh, hospitals and most of the practitioners took to this teleconsultation and imaging as an important part of their uh, medical treatment so remote imaging can be from patient to doctor from vision technician to doctor who are at this uh, village areas and they're not uh, as uh, may not be as good as a doctor over there, but they would be able to give us decent uh, history and uh, report and good image of the uh, eye so that we can help them. And the fellows who are posted in the secondary centers or any comprehensive ophthalmologist who needs help of a specialist doctor. I would just start with this patient who was this 48 year old male who presented with electrician by occupation, a resident of uh, Madhya Pradesh with a one month history of pain, redness, and diminution. And uh, he had uh, trauma with the grass 1.5 months back. When he came to us, he came up with a lot of consultations, but he was not having any relief. Vice corneal transplant there, but no cornea was available there. So he was actually from Ratlam and he traveled uh, so many hours because he wanted to get in the uh, right treatment for himself. So he consulted to us on the 19th of April. At presentation, he was on uh, cocktail uh, therapy and uh, uh, with antifungals and antibiotics there. We did the uh, normal uh, corneal scraping when the B scan came out to be normal. While he was sitting on the chair of uh, my OPD, uh, the breaking news did come in that uh, there was a complete lockdown announced which was on 19th only uh, and it was imposed till 26th. The patient said he would go and stay at a hotel in Pahargan which is one of the most crowded areas of Delhi. So again we were just not clear what to do now. Outstation patient, no place to stay in Delhi. And COVID was on the rise. And it was like, today is the only day you can do something uh, more meaningful for the patient. But again, there was a dilemma. How would we follow up? The patient cannot stay back. We'll have to discharge him the next day or maybe keep one more day in the, in the award. That also is not very safe thing. Delhi was in a very bad shape at that time. How would we monitor the ground? And how would we modify the treatment when the cultures would come? So we had two options, do it now or do it later because it was not a perforating ulcer, but it was an ulcer which was not responding to medications and a pretty deep down infiltrate. But then I thought, let's do it together. Together means me and the patient working. So we did plan a PPK doing the rat immediately added it the same day. A lot of sessions. I mean, one of my Dr. Garima, who was posted with me, she went to the ward and took a lot of time in uh, explaining how to take good image so that when they go back from here to home, we can uh, at least consult them. And we told them the problem that, look, we've done the graph, but don't expect things to be very hanky dory after that. We need to monitor you. So we taught them how to take images. And this was the image which was uh, shared by the patient. We were in constant touch with the patient. And, uh, you know, we gave up some drops not available. Here again, we consulted. Uh, it was couriered. And, you know, on those places, fortified medications was out of question. And you just won't get it from any pharmacist over there in the native place. And uh, so uh, we, could, we had to arrange for all these things. But what helped us were these 
good photographs and then in some photographs we could even go in up to the details of the ac which looked well so by till day 40 we had like we had told him to take in all four gazes so that we could have some a uh, gross idea of what's happening in the eye and if we i mean it's been one and a half months and more than that now he's still in contact and now planning to come and visit us uh, so because the things are better and we see that we could do it so what lessons we learned from this was that teach patient to take good images when they are in ward or in the opd and you are expecting something like this and uh, because the emergency services were running in our hospital even during lockdown so whenever a patient used to come and we think we thought we need to follow up the first thing in the opd is to tell them this is how you should take an image so we, then we made another format of uh, our video uh, in hindi so that uh, they could learn and take good images this was another patient uh, done in uh, january and uh, presented in april again having uh, 18th and 19th the lockdown was announced and it was a bad time at that time we started the patient on therapy for later when he came uh, he was in delhi at that time he was better and uh, we thought he he was responding we had to add uh, um, he was known case of viral so we uh, we the viral was escalated to four times and uh, uh, we thought we thought that they were uh, you now the infiltrates had started to clear up and one week later these are the images which he sent and one month later these are the images from the patient and uh, now he was advised to come to the opd he's come and we did a tabcl after that now because things are better off now they are back here and we can consult them so what uh, uh, things uh, sorry it's hello yeah so there are certain means of communication which are there with us which may be uh that uh, you can do it by slit lamp by we have these good folders which you can just holders which you can use on a, on your phone that will help you so other uh, way how we can use these uh, images are at a vision center we need to train them uh, regarding which uh, uh, other good patients you need to send immediately to the hospital or which can wait this some problem coming with the forward thing so we have to teach them on various images of uh, what uh, they are like and you just uh, keep these these are the ones taken from the normal uh, uh, the uh, phone only and uh, they've taken it at the vision centers there is uh, some problem when we tell them what is the cold lesion and then also what are the hot lesions like the ulcers which are there how they can Uh, uh they are important and they need to be sent immediately the cold lesions can still wait then uh, you have to teach them also about the fluorescein staining if that's something they need to do and if that's coming possible uh, so uh, and the other thing which we've been uh, uh, teaching by this remote imaging which has helped us is that our fellows who are posted in the secondary center they can help they take images and they send it to us there's some problem with the connectivity from that side it's just not moving forwards dr manisha uh, your presentation is very much visible and you are also visible so please go ahead yeah i think it's just not moving forward so i can sum up by saying that uh, uh, remote imaging remains an important tool of teaching as well as uh, of uh, uh of uh, managing patients so if we teach them how to take good pictures it really helps us in these very unprecedented times and uh, it's given us a new opportunity like we say crisis creates opportunity so opportunity of training has also come up uh, uh, with uh, these uh, uh, with the imaging techniques which is helping us with our with our secondary centers or any peripheral area where we have doctors who can uh, coordinate and use teleconsultation with another specialist and that will help us uh, thank you again aws for giving me this opportunity to present here i think uh, now it's moving so it's okay but uh, that that was the crux of uh, the entire presentation with a lot of pictures here but that's it so thank you again aws for giving me this uh, opportunity and uh, thank you for uh, the patient here Okay, thanks, Manisha. It was a very interesting talk, and um, 
I did you prescribe what kind of phone they have to purchase to, in order to take good images? So the patients normally have very normal uh, smartphones, and uh, uh, they're able to get a good picture. We real we thought it would be a very difficult thing. I have one patient who was in Alvaro was. I never thought he can send me an image. But nowadays, I think that their children are all having uh, these uh, yeah. gadgets, and they are very interested. Uh, uh, and you just teach them. I mean, what I realized that uh, when they come to you, just tell them how to take a picture, rather than expecting a good picture out of it. So you know that right. you you don't want a one week follow up. So uh, you just tell them these are the four gauges you should send me to comply yeah. well. But that's my learning now. When the patient comes. to the opd we teach them this is how if anything goes wrong send a picture like this and you have people right. and i'm very thankful to the fellows and dr isha who they all were there uh, who helped me with this presentation also and also managing these patients on phones they were yeah. there with the patients helping them with the medicines and all.